Robert Bentley is planning a tour of Holman Prison in Atmore tomorrow. It's the site of two prison uprisings in the last three days. The most recent one today when an inmate was stabbed. The warden and another officer were stabbed this weekend. Set the cue on fire, man. This is cell phone video taken from inside the prison Friday. A prison spokesperson says inmates posted pictures from the uprising on social media. 30 cell phones, makeshift knives, and other contraband were found inside that prison. Now, if you want to know how and why inmates were able to have their run of the prisons, we were concerned too. So consider this. Across the state of Alabama, prisons are nearly twice as full as they are designed to be. So they were supposed to house 13,000 inmates. This is the jail. These are the inmates. Right now, Alabama prisons have more than 24,000 inmates and not enough prison guards. Check this out. They need nearly 6,000 guards. The state only has 3,818 right now. We talked to State Senator Cam Ward about that, and he says this may not be the last uprising we see. It's a situation that's been building up for a while. I mean, you have that many inmates into that small space and understaffing by what we've done. It was only a matter of time. It's a powder keg. Now, Senator Ward says he does support the governor's plan to build new prisons. He says that is a step in the right direction, but he says you can't build your way out of the problem in Alabama's prisons. We'll let you know what Governor Bentley says after he tours Holman Prison tomorrow.